And then a little bit ago, we uh, spoke to Kelly for just a brief moment, but she started off with uh, what I consider to be a rude comment. So I put her back on hold for another uh, 10 or 15 she's minutes. She's still on hold? No, oh, she's back now. Kelly, do you like, do you like our band now? I'm, I'm sorry. Okay, Thanks, baby. Me. I can't leave with my cell phone and my son after you. <laughs> All right. What's no, the question? I'm, like, I'm pregnant, like six months, and my brother wants to take my kid away from me, trying to say I'm unfit. Your brother? Yeah, because my my mom kicked me out because I'm pregnant. Mom. So it's like it's like really terrible. Where are you living now? Well, I have an apartment right now. By yourself. Yeah. How do you support that? Well, I have inheritance that I got. Really? How much money? Forty thousand. Let me move in for like three weeks. <laughs> okay. Blow yeah. some of that money, then that's good at all. That lasts about six months in infancy. Yeah. Baby, you got to hang on to that nut. You got to get a job. Yeah, why, why is your brother trying to take the kid away? Because he doesn't like me. He just thinks I'm unfit and I can't do it. But he, want, he wants your kid? Or he yeah. just doesn't want you to have your kid? He just, he just doesn't want me to have it. How old is your brother? He's like 35. What's he do? Is he stable? Actually, he's a carpenter. And what oh. about you giving the child up for adoption? I, I don't want to do that because I was adopted and I had a terrible life. So. Oh. Yeah, so that's why she's angry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm bitter. I'm sorry. Where, where's the father? Baby? My, what, my dad? His. No, no you're the father of the baby. Oh, he's in jail mm. for kidnapping his kids. His for what? His other kids? Kidnapped. He has like four other kids, yeah. Oh, really? Mm. Did you know he has yeah. four other kids before you... No, I didn't know. So you have, and you he lied to me about his name too and everything. So I don't like. All right, but uh, what a what a shocking revelation that you're basically going down the same path your mom went down. Yeah. And this is why I got to get in charge, straighten things out. And the first thing I'm gonna do is put a bullet in the head of these uh, Johnny Appleseed freaks who just go around knocking people up and then going back to prison. Then they get out and they start hanging with another chick and they knock them up. Then they move on. Then they go to Florida eventually. So <laughs> and so do the kids. They knock. No, no, they can't. They can't be in the same state as their kids. I think everybody from New York goes down to Florida. Yeah, it's all, it's all people from anyway. You're all from 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 you know you know I'm from New York. Yeah, meanwhile, they're, they're, that's why all the drivers it's starting to get really crazy down in Florida. All the drivers suck now. Hey, uh, <laughs> hey, Kelly. Yeah. I know. I know you're not interested in the state of Florida. <laughs> I don't mean that as a state. I have good oranges. That's all I know. All right, baby. Now, now listen. <laughs> I, here's the deal. Your brother. I know you think your brother has it in for you, but. I bet he wants to do what's best for the kid, and he right. sees you as probably uh, Trouble. maybe maybe not able to raise the child on your own. And how about giving the kid up for adoption? That gets your brother off your back. It gives you a little chance to breathe, get a little therapy, get a little help, get a job, get it together. You're 20 years old. It's the right thing to do. Well, it's the right thing to do, but it's not what I think is right. I know, but but listen, you're a bad judge of what's right. You understand? By your own admission. Please, let me explain something to all you dumb people out there. Please. You don't have to be smart. You only have to listen to what smart people tell you and do it. If you really think about it, any part of life, you don't have to know how to do anything. Just don't be so goddamn dumb that you can't listen to smart people. Mm -hmm. That's all you got to do. Or don't know the difference between what a smart person and a Yes, smart you have person. smart people telling you to give the kid up for adoption. And a brother probably cares about you. Or you can have the kid breeze through that forty grand in another, yeah, I give it like 13 months with the kid, and now you're on the uh, public dole and you're living in some crappy place and you get pregnant again by another prisoner. Why doesn't your mom talk to you? Because Cause you got pregnant? Me. Yeah, because she hates me. She hates you. Yeah, but listen, we hated you uh, 15 minutes ago, too, because you're an angry person. And you're not, hey, Kelly, you're not in good shape to raise this kid. It's not fair to the kid. You understand? Yeah, just like you were saying, you didn't want to give it up to adoption because, you know, I I mean, I can't say anything about this, but you said it was going to be a bad situation. It's not like it's a good situation with you holding on to your kid either. You're not really in, it doesn't sound like you're really financially stable. And you, and you could even you, pick, you could have picked the adoptive parents even. Yeah. Yeah, you're, you're not in a good place emotionally, Kelly, because of what happened to you growing up. Yeah. It, it's selfish to put that burden on a kid, and believe me, Every every ounce of what you got's going right into that kid. Absolutely. So this is your stepmom that's kicked you out of the house, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So so Kelly, listen to me. Mm -hmm. You uh, you don't. Your brother hates your guts. Your mom hates your guts. Everyone is out to get you. Adam hates your guts. Ten minutes ago, the band hated your guts. <laughs> we never hated your guts. But people people magically don't like you. 
is that because there's something wrong with them, or is that because you're not putting your best foot forward? Probably what you said, the latter. Okay. All right, and you're not stupid. I can hear that. He just used the word ladder, which uh, no one's ever used on this show except for Drew. <laughs> All right, so you're an intelligent person, but you grew up in a tough situation, around in, in a tough environment, and you, you have some, uh, you got a little leather on your skin. That's fine. All right. It's all right. You got to worry about the guys you hook up with. You got to worry about not getting pregnant again. You got to give this kid up for adoption, and you got to work it out. Yep. It's all right. You're going to get in deeper with this kid. Give it up for adoption. Do the right thing. You'll feel better about yourself. Get a little therapy and move on. All right. Yes. Remember, okay. I'm smart, right? Also, again, Adam, I'm sorry. Okay, baby. All right. Take care of yourself.